When we honor a child, it makes it real. It brings that story to life. My story was made for the big stage. Our story came a little early and in pairs. My story started halfway around the world. Our story helped start Bourbon and Bowties. Charles was a lover of the outdoors. He was everybody's friend. He loved bugs and frogs and lizards and um, climbing. And he was a brother to Owen and Campbell. At age eight in 2009, he died from viral encephalitis. So through this tragic, terrible thing, um, I think what we most wanted from it was to keep Charles's memory alive and um, not let anybody forget. Um, like what a loving, caring, energetic little boy he was. And I think you think, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get out of bed the next day. Um, but we do had two other children that needed care and breakfast and <laughs> needed to go places. And so through that, um, we had to get up and keep going. I mean, I just think you appreciate life in general and how fragile it is. Even though something terrible happens, that um, you can make something good out of it and help others. Um, through that loss. That's one of the main reasons why we put so much energy towards Bourbon and Bowties is we saw how much people were giving back to us um, during our grief or during our tragic moment that it was a way, Bourbon and Bowties was a way for us to give back to other people. I think, you know, people don't really um, appreciate necessarily the value of a children's hospital until they need it. We serve more than 150,000 children a year from all 120 counties in Kentucky and more than 35 in Indiana. And this hospital stands um, really as a, as a beacon of hope for families from all over the region. Well, I just don't think we realize until you utilized the, the, hot, the children's hospital how important it is. The nurses and the doctors, they're a different breed. I mean, it's um, they truly love the hospital. and love every single one that they serve. When the Gantz started this, obviously it was to be in memory of Charles. And um, so much of that went to support child life therapy. And here we are now full circle 10 years later, celebrating and investing in child life services again. And this year, all 10 of the families have come together and uh, we're actually raising dollars this year to support our pet therapy program and our child life program. And uh, you know, child life absolutely is a differentiator. It's something that makes a difference in the life of a children's hospital. For us to be able to retain a top-tier children's hospital in our community and to compete nationally and to have the absolute most state-of-the-art equipment with best specialists, um, we depend on the support of the community that we absolutely cannot grow, we cannot invest and innovate without uh, philanthropic support. There are so many incredible stories to be told if you think about the work of Norton Children's Hospital, and obviously those stories will never be told without support from the community. My story helps me to average 12 points a game, six rebounds, and do whatever it takes to help my team win. My story led me to become an advocate and a philanthropist. My story was too close to call. My story allows me to play college sports and serve as an ambassador. Dean's story brought everyone together to eat, drink, and share stories, and his legacy lives on through all of us. It's never easy to tell our story. But we want to help others so they can share their story.